tragedy. What's going on, uh, UBA? We are here for the Vixens Championship match with our challenger Karen Steiner from Kings Court and our champion Daphne Smith from the Savages. Uh, Daphne's been here bowling all day. We had our Vixens qualifier today. Karen's fresh, ready to go. She's gonna take down the champ today. Let's see how this uh, all go play out. Karen, how you, how you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling okay. Got a little pain in my foot, but other than that, I'm gonna push through it and I'm gonna beat her. Uh, well, I heard you were 60%, so is you more than 60? Uh, maybe about 70. 70 percent is better than 60. <laughs> so, uh, how many games? How many games is going to take you? Going to beat her in six. Beat her in six. All right, all right. Well, well. Good luck to you, Karen, for sure. I always enjoy y'all's matches. Uh, Dabney, you got the ball earlier. Started off a little slow, but you kind of got it going. Um, how you think today's going to go for you? I think it's going to go pretty good. We're going to throw some strikes. Is this supposed to be a better pair than you bowled on for the Vixens qualifier? That's what I've heard. I've heard. My pair sucked earlier. It happens. It happens in houses with the wood lanes too. So you excited about bowling here on the wood lanes? I think so. Is this your first time defending here? Yes. I don't think I've ever had a belt match here. Karen, you ever had a match here? I have. I had one down toward the low end. Um, did not bowl well. So I'm hoping this pair will help. Help, help me bowl well. So you said you had a match. I think I did have a belt match here. I think I bowled somebody on Villains. Michelle. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, Michelle. I can't think of her last name for the life of me right now. But, okay, so that was here. Okay, and obviously you won it. I did. So how, how many are you going to beat Karen in today? You think, what's your number you thinking? I'll go with you. I like six. All right, so both ladies say they're going to take this through to six, and uh, let's get the action going and see how y'all doing. Good luck, ladies. All right, all right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, we are about to start game one here of the Vixens match. Champion uh, Daphne Smith is going to be starting on the left lane in this best of seven match. Both girls in their interviews said it would take six games. Obviously, they picked themselves to, uh, to win in six. All right, Daphne's starting us off good with a strike. Some of the background noise and some of the people walking shouts, uh, shots out that you might see are uh, people bowling an event here. We have the draft here tomorrow. So one of the uh, local tournament directors got a, got a tournament going on to um, Go ahead and get people in the area so they're here for tomorrow and looking forward to that. Looking forward to a great day tomorrow. But uh, here's Karen getting up to start here on the right lane for game one. Beautiful strike from uh, Karen. All right, attention bowlers, hold up on your practice. Hold up on your practice, like a first ball. Where your name and arrows come back up. Wish you good luck and high scores. Okay, bowlers, you can just go across on your Teammate, you can pick any letters and make sure you write it down. Make sure you report all scores. Good luck and good luck. Mm. Ten pin for Karen to start. That message just slid in front of the ten pin. And inside. All right, let's see if Daphne will be able to capitalize on the early open.
There you go. Double to start for Daphne. So Daphne and Karen have known each other for quite a while um, before our realignment here in the southeast a couple years ago. Uh, the Savages and Kings Court were in uh, what was the Queen City District. We had a little bit of growth down in Georgia, so we broke apart. So now the deep south is where uh, Daphne resides with the Savages, and the Queen City is still where Karen and Kings Court reside. There's three in a row. Struck on the right lane the first time. See if she can stay on it here. Yeah, she did. Very good shot. Very good shot from Karen there. Karen throws the ball at the nine pin the way she threw it at the ten pin the last frame. She will spare this up fairly easily. And good cover for Karen. Four in a row. A ham bone there to start. Five in a row. Oh, Cinco Sacco. Shout out to the Rolling Rebels on that one. Five in a row. For Queen of the Savages. Nine-pin for Karen. So we're only in the fifth frame, but 
Karen's bold enough at these WCS matches to know that she can go ahead and start looking for, you know, the right ball, right surface, like right line for for game two. Uh, Daphne starting with a five in a row is huge. Karen already has an open, and hopefully she spares this up at least. And she does. Also, bowlers, please do not tear apart the score sheet. Keep them stable and turn them in together. Please do not tear the score sheet apart. Two thirty seven is the max. Max for Karen. Daphne's max, obviously, still still 300. Sixth frame for Karen. Nice little light, but it struck. She got to take that after her last two shots on uh, on that left lane. Here's Daphne going for a six pack. Oh, got it. Not sure what pin kicked that five out, but it got kicked out by something. Seven in a row. Seven in a row for Daphne. That's a very beautiful, very beautiful strike for Karen. Much needed strike for Karen. I'm not sure if she's changed balls yet or not. But whatever she does, she needs to just go ahead and, uh, and get ready for game two. Total pinball does not matter in these WCS matches. It's all about wins and losses. She's ready at Nacho, ready at the grill. She's ready at Nacho, ready at the grill. Still 237 max, though, for, for Karen. A turkey, nice turkey for Karen. So maybe she's already lined up for the next game. All right. Let's see if Daphne can go ahead and give us front eight. Got it. Wow. That was <laughs> Ten back for sure.
Nine in a row. Ooh, ring and ten. It actually hit better than some for other shots have on that lane. Can't be too mad at that. It happens at times. That's official. Daphne has won game one. Game one, Daphne. So, all right, Karen working on three in a row. Let's see if she's. She has has it found. That looks good from here. Nice, very nice. She needed more of those uh, early in this game. But this last four have all looked really, really nice. So game two will go either way. But Daphne's already sitting on 239, even if she gutters out in the 10th. And most Karen can get is uh, 237. So game one to Daphne. That was a very light shot. Well, a very light shot there from Karen. First time I've seen a scoring system count the the uh, two eight as a split. If that's the case. I split all the time. Um, okay, well that was interesting. You won't be able to watch a replay of this. No, that was uh, I think it was the five. It looked weird. I don't know. We'll have to add instant replay availability capabilities to our uh, our streaming service. But we'll be able to go back and, um, and watch that because that was a very interesting shot. Daphne's still burying the pocket on that side. Right, game one in the books. 269 for Daphne, 213 for Karen. High fives all around. This game one winner for Daphne. 
All right, game two. Game two about to get started here. See how Karen uh, starts this game down 1-0. Strike. Very nice. Nice strike from Karen. Not getting all the same pin action that Daphne's getting right now, but a strike is a strike and hit right where it was supposed to. First ball game two. Yes, yes. Right where she left off in the first game. Daphne has been the Southeast Vixens champ for a long time now. Mega Bowl. Uh, Mega Bowl put her right at a year, I believe. I have to take a look and remember that. I know she bowled the North versus South match at Battle Bowl against uh, Hermie. Daphne won that, I believe, in six games as well. Now Daphne's been doing some great things for the Vixens division here in the Southeast. And also, along with uh, former Vixens champ Casey Parnell, have been helping to spearhead the push for a Vixens tag series that uh, started their qualifying today, actually. Oh, a really light 2-8 lead for Daphne. That ball just didn't roll in the friction like it needed to. Durham, North Carolina, the only place where the 2-8 is a split. Fantastic. It's a fantastic bowling center here. Uh, bowling on wood lanes. We don't have too much of that here in the south. Nice cover by Daphne. She converted the split, if you didn't hear. All right, so this uh, this game, Karen has a chance to get a little bit of a jump. She can get these next two. Mm. The four seven. The four seven is not a split. 4-7 is not a split in Durham. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. The 4-7 is not a split.
Spare for Karen. Flat 10 for Karen. Unlike game one, Karen got that 10 out. Nice spare there for Karen. Left the door open for Daphne to get an early lead here in game two. Ten back. Expect nothing less from Daphne. Nearly the 7-10, 7 came out late. spare from Karen. So the girls aren't opening right now, but Karen hasn't struck since the first frame of this game. She's going to need to get some strikes going here. Daphne's on an early 280 pace. Or 280 max, rather. Can she get back on it? Uh, Ten pin again. The 
last to these two, the last time these two Vixens faced off against each other, September 24th in High Point Bowling Center, which really ain't that far from here compared to where both of these ladies live. Ooh. She used every inch of that right side. She got it. Be a turkey for Daphne. Oh no! Wow, eight pin. Bear for Daphne. Daphne back on the strikes on the left lane. Daphne said with a 259, Max. 247, Max, for Karen. Let's see if Karen can break this string of nine counts. Four, six, seven for Karen here. New max for Karen is 223. 259 for Daphne. We need Karen to start getting some strikes here. Or she's going to fall in an early 2 0 hole. for Karen. Karen's been having some physical limits uh, lately. You see her ankles KT taped up a little bit. And she, cause she's had a couple times on the approach where she just hasn't looked right. So hopefully it's not something bothering her too bad. All right, 
right. Double for Daphne. Yep. All right, turkey for Daphne. Yep. Strike for Karen, that's a double. It's a turkey. All right, through nine. Karen's on a 2.23 pace. Daphne's sitting on 109 and a three bagger. Let's see if she can make it four. That's a seven pin lead for Daphne. Sometimes perfect pocket shots do not give you a strike. If she covers this, she'll still be in control of this game. And she does. Stupid. So if she can cover this with a six count, excuse me, a seven count, she will uh, close the game out on Karen.
Max for Karen's 223. So all Daphne needs here is a seven count. All 10 back there for sure. 227. 227 for Daphne, game two. That is a game two winner. Daphne is now up 2 0. 2 0 on Karen. nicer uh, pocket shots there and she almost left the 710 but this time the 10 fall out Two oh two. Two twenty seven, two oh two. Game two goes to Daphne. So back in September when uh, Daphne beat beat Karen to retain the title then as well. Karen got right back on the horse. Won the matches she needed to to get right back here. Another shot at her. Hopefully she can turn it around and she's just missing something right now. I feel like her ball speed is a little slow. Got too much uh, end over end roll and not getting any kind of tilt in there. So uh, Daphne's Ball just has a lot more speed to it, a lot more, causing a lot more pin action. And Karen's just kind of not hitting as flush as it needs to. Daphne has started us here in game three. Shots, money. Let's strike to get it started. Very nice, very nice, very nice start for um, for Karen there. The ball's just still not hitting the way it needs to. It's just very inconsistent right now. She's getting to the pocket, but just not getting the roll through that she's needing. Hopefully this game will be different. The 10 out. 
That's a double. That's our first double to start a game this match. All right, it's back on Daphne now. See if she can get the, keep the momentum going. A lot of pin action there, but the seven pins just standing there. Should be an easy cover for Daphne. See if she can get another strike on this left lane. Ooh. Similar to Karen's um, 10 pin getting knocked out. Same thing happened to Daphne. Can Karen start this off with a three-bagger? To be aggressive this game. Ah, ring and ten. Fell off. That's the one thing Karen didn't need is an open. That rolled really, would not, really nice there. All four of her first shots this game have looked really nice. Just got uh, stuck there in the third and then didn't cover the 10 bin.
Double for Daphne. Turkey. Nice shot from the champ. See if Karen can get this double. Much needed double. Ah, seven don't go. the seven pin two thirty five two thirty five is the new max for Karen two eighty is the max for Daphne Flat 10. Karen's very capable of putting a few good games together. Uh, recently, uh, she was in a tournament. Went 8-13 to back three. So she got the spare. It didn't look good. Didn't look like it looked like it was gonna miss inside, but it it got it out. So hopefully that sparks something. Karen can get going here. Talk a lot of trash to people, but she's got it in her. She 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 can say some things when she needs to. But it's let's see what she got here. That's five. There we go. Cinco Seco. Another shout out to the rebels there.
Our last two frames on this right side have been opens. Four, six, seven. Sadly, it's not the first time she's left it today. Two oh one. Two oh one is the highest thing that Karen can get this game. Daphne's still looking good at it for two eighty. But I can't help that, that Karen is just maybe not even at that seventy percent that, that she said she was in our pre match interview. Came up high. Mm, four pin. Good cover from Karen. All right, putting the ball on the lane, made it official. Game three to Daphne. Seven in a row. The way Daphne is bowling today, she's going to be one of the top vixens, I'm sure, tomorrow in the draft. Again, Karen got to the pocket, but left another seven.
That ball looked good. Game three, it's gonna be a 170 for for Karen. I would love to see these two, these two bowl, both of them 100%. Nothing going on to keep them from being able to go out 100% with each other, because there's been the last couple matches Daphne's had with Karen. Uh, Karen has not been 100% dealing with different uh, different injuries and different things and. These two both throw the ball so well that we really deserve for both of them to be 100%. But Karen's going to keep fighting. She ain't going to quit. And I still think Karen's got the heart to where if Daphne leaves the door open at some point, she might she might steal a game. She might steal two. Else she could come back. So it's just going to be up to really if Daphne leaves the door open and Karen can capitalize. But right now, Daphne's got that 3-0 lead. And... Let's see if Daphne will close out this 280 for us. And she does. 280 for Daphne. Game three. Daphne's up 3-0.
All right, here we go, game four. The challenger, start us off. Really hope she can strike early and often this game. Nice. Pins uh, give Karen a little magic there. Kick that four out. All right, first ball for Daphne. Game four. Wow. So going back to the last game, that is 11 in a row. getting 12 in a row. Uh, a little stone aid there from Daphne. Showing a little bit of frustration taking it out on her hip there. A cover from the champ. That's a double for Karen. That's Karen's got an early, uh, early control here. I'm just talking to Daphne back here, um, waiting on Karen to take that shot. And I reminded Daphne that she has not opened yet. So she threw her Atlanta Braves rosin bag on the ground and is uh, going to blame me the first time she goes through the face. But I don't see, I don't see that happening. She's throwing the ball really good today and. Uh, hopefully Karen will keep fighting and make this a match. To start with a turkey. Seven in. Yeah, you, you can see that Karen's just not comfortable on the approach. Just not comfortable on her slide or stick, nothing really. So I just feel like feel like that uh, ankle foot injury is really bothering her. Feel sorry for her, but she'll she'll grind this out.
That's a good cover for Daphne. So she hasn't opened yet, so she can't get too mad at me yet for jinxing her. I thought that was going to be a 7 9 for a minute there. I honestly think that's the first time that she's gone three frames without a strike. Two five eight. Two five eight is the max for Daphne. Two seventy nine is the max for Karen. Oh, beautiful shot from Karen there. Buried that one. Okay, okay. That's a double for Karen. So through five, she is still on that 279 pace. I think she just kind of got to the point she just used to kind of falling the shot off to the right. If you've ever seen Karen Bull before, she's uh, very, very much like Daphne in the sense that her mechanics are usually really, really good. Um, steady at the line. She just hasn't been that today, but uh, she she's fighting through it. So hopefully she'll continue this game. Ugh. Ten pin for Daphne. Spafford Avenue. She's still clean for through 35. Well, let's see if she can get a strike here and put put pressure put pressure on Karen to continue her striking. Oh, 
That looked good, sounded good, was good. Great strike for Daphne there. Let's see if Karen can get a turkey here. 247. 247 is the max for Daphne. 279 is still the max for Karen. And the cover, yep, the cover from Karen. Fifty-eight, two fifty-eight is still the max for Karen. Strike from Karen. She just can't get three in a row to save her life. But she's still in control of this game. Slight adjustment from Daphne there, and she uh, back burying the pocket on the right side. Still looking for our first turkey of the match, or turkey of the game, rather. Ooh, ringing 10. Spam, this is uh, very important right now because Karen is set up to steal game four. Nice spare. Still clean now through 38. Fantastic accomplishment. And Karen's down 3-0, but she has not stopped fighting. Love to see that. Two twenty-six is the max for Daphne. Two two six. Two five eight. 258 is the max for Karen. See if she can get a strike here in the eighth.
Yes, ma'am. Checked up. Shot that hip in right around the four seven. Cover here, we'll leave her with a two thirty six max, which is still ahead of Daphne's two twenty six max. Much needed cover. Karen's still in the driver's seat. See how much pressure Daphne can put on her here. Nice strike there in the night. Cover and a strike will be a 206. That should all but do it here for game four. But let's uh, see what Daphne does here with this 10 pin. She got that. So she's been clean for all four games. The outcome here in game four might not be might not be what she was looking for. 196 plus this ball. for Daphne. Karen's already sitting on 196 plus this next ball it counts double so barring an epic disaster this game will go to Karen Steiner. That's going to put her down 3-1. The split there will not matter. She's already sitting on 210. So game four is for Karen. Game four for Karen. Remove letter D, remove letter D, F. 
Two twelve, two oh five. Game five coming right back at you. Well, frame one is going to start with a four, six, seven. Apparently, apparently a four, six, seven is not a split here in Durham. No, sir. No, sir. Not yeah, the only the two A's, the only split that you could have here in uh, at Village Lanes in Durham, North Carolina. Mm. A little suspense in that one. Karen did not have the best 10th frame there to end game four, but it was enough to be Daphne. So let's see if she can figure out what she did wrong here on the right lane and get game five off to a positive start. Still having those same foot foot problems on the line.
And so Daphne opened the first two to start and then got a strike in the third. Let's see if Karen can capitalize on this here in game five. Oh. You can tell she's just not comfortable with the line. See if she can cover the 6 10 and increase her lead over Daphne here in game five. Karen, that she did not need to top that, but she did. Get back on it here in the fourth frame, Karen. Make a match. So it, the way this game has started, I'm not going to bother uh, forecasting out the max scores yet. equal they're technically tied at the moment Ooh, that hit like a over under kind of a spot there that sent it really high leaving a three six nine ten So apparently, this is also a split here in Durham. The three, six, nine, ten. Oh, she chopped it. Ah. That looked really, 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 really good. Daphne's going to need a full rack there on the left lane. full rack for Daphne. Let's see if she can get a turkey here to maximize the uh, the unfortunate situation Karen's in, opening the third and the fourth. Daphne opened first and second. But now it's in the spot where here in the fifth she can get her a turkey. Let's see if she does. And then the sweep knew she was going to leave it. I'm sorry, the rack knew she was going to leave it. That's why I didn't send it the first time. She's going to miss that one left. So, 
Aaron can strike out. She's going to be at 235. Daphne is currently higher than 235 if she were to strike out. But let's see if Karen can put those last two frames behind her. No. The four, six, seven again. This is probably the third or fourth time she has left that today. lower to 214 but Karen's probably not even thinking about that right now Karen's probably just trying to figure out what she needs to do to get back in this pocket and get the pin action she uh, had last game Seven wouldn't go. Shot was not bad. She's flirting with that gutter on the right side. Four straight opens for Karen. You can tell she just she's fighting, but she just don't don't have it. Just dealing with the stuff that she will not complain about. She won't complain about her foot and her ankle. But Karen's got a lot of heart for being in this match and giving it all she can. See if Daphne will continue to capitalize here. Very nice strike there from Daphne. Two thirty six, two three six is the max for Daphne. The first strike here in the seventh. She got it. You know she's using a different ball in the left lane now, so that's really good for her. Even just prepping for tomorrow. You know, prepping for the draft. Learning how to play the lanes the way that uh, she, that she might need to tomorrow. You never know. Seventh frame for Karen. Flat ten. from Karen ended that uh, very uncharacteristic, unfortunate um, string of opens for Karen. Oh 
nine pin for Karen. Bear for Karen. Get Daphne up here and get this closed out. Daphne up in eighth, so you can get a turkey. And all but uh, have this match locked up here on this next shot. Two max. Daphne's already at 146. Strikes are nines and splits are any combination you want to put up there. All serious, and some of the scoring stuff happens in centers. We understand that, and all right, some camera issues on the lanes. But this has been a very uh, great experience here at at Village. Wood lanes well maintained. Approaches are nice. This really is a very, uh, very nice center. And we appreciate them uh, having our matches today and hosting the draft tomorrow. All right, strike for Karen. Unfortunately, it's all gonna be too little too late. Daphne has already closed this match out. Daphne wins 4-1. to be the defending champion once again. We can get a hold of her in a post-match interview. We're going to ask her about how long it's been now because it's, I want to say it was Mega Bowl last year, maybe a little after that. She's been the champ for a long time. Game three, please turn on the four seats in at the game. 
Creek, please turn all sports to you. It's a strike to finish it for Karen. It's not the outcome Karen was wanting, dealing with the injury. I'll tell you what, you can't question Karen's heart and, and desire to fight in these matches that she needs to. Hopefully she can uh, rest up and because she is also on a team tomorrow here at the draft. Daphne is still doing but she's been doing this whole uh, whole match. It's five in a row, another Cinco Sacco. She can get two more. She'll finish with seven. And aside from the first two frames of this game, stayed pretty clean the entire night. Two thirty-five for Daphne here. Four-one is the is the outcome. Daphne uh, will go on to face Rona Harrell from uh, one of our newer franchises, the Carolina Gatekeepers. That match will take place in February, February eighteenth at a location yet to be determined. We're going to be back at Woodleaf Lanes. Um, let's see if I can get a quick word with Daphne here as she's uh, doing what she does best and comforting uh, Karen on the match. And Daphne knows that Karen wasn't 100% today, too. So it's, uh, it's unfortunate. So me and Daphne, we've been friends for a while now because she used to have me on her team. But um, so you got to win. I know it wasn't the way you would have liked for it to be. Um, we got to see Karen fight through the, the, the pain. Never pain. And, uh, That's never fun to bowl somebody injured. No, it's never not. And, and um, you know, I said during the, the commentary here that, you know, Karen's a fighter. She's going to oh, keep absolutely. fighting. She, there's no quitting her. And uh, she gave it all she could. And um, I know you appreciate that effort. Um, but now let's look forward to February. You're going to face uh, Rona Harrell from the Carolina Gatekeepers. Um, what do you know about Rona? Anything at all? Zero. Zero. So she Zero. she beat Kathy McWilliams at Strikers. Uh, Kathy struggled to get the corner pins out at Strikers. That we know some of us struggle with that there. Um, Rona's very quiet, keeps to herself the whole time, and I know that's kind of how you like to be at times and don't talk a lot of trash. So there'll be no trash talking in this match. Probably not. But you're gonna give her a proper welcome to um, the the WCS and and knock her back, knock her down a peg. I will definitely give her a proper welcome. That's what I do. So I um, always try for the win. So, yeah. Yep. Well, February 18th, we're going to have the match. Uh, we're looking at Woodleaf, but not official yet. So we're still working on that. But um, 18th, 18th of February. Okay. And um, we don't know where yet. We're probably Woodleaf. I'll, I'll, know, I'll know tomorrow. It's only two hours. It's great. It's two, two's better than five. You and me both had a nice haul to get here, so. Um, it was great. So, yep. So hopefully we'll get the camera crew down there and everything else, and we'll be able to keep showcase what we're doing. Um, great. So congratulations on the win. Thank you.